Voltaggio. What am I saying? I'm describing two awesome brothers that are chefs. You've seen them on TV. They have award-winning restaurants. They're going to help us get ready for the holidays with some of their super delicious secrets. Hey, guys, welcome. Hi, Con. Hey, Con. Well, it's great to have both of you with us. Brian, let's start with you. What makes cooking so much fun for you? Best part of cooking for me? Yeah, cooking with this guy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Here's me, no, but seriously, though, with the holidays coming up, we are having some, you know, having a chance to cook together a little bit more. Yeah, and actually, you know, we've actually, you know, we're big into technology, and we actually, we're pairing up with Samsung and our new Flex Duo oven. This actually enables us to be able to cook in the same kitchen at the same time. No, <laughs> no doubt about it. That sounds like a manly oven, but what is a Flex Duo? It's Brian and I. Flex Duo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, but there's... There's actually, Samsung has this oven that's got so much technology in it. It, it basically enables you, it's, it's flexible and it's, and it's a dual oven. So what, do that, what does that mean? It's basically like two separate ovens in one. So yeah. you can bake and broil in two separate temperature zones at the same time. Yeah, check it out. So the smart divider it goes in the center. You can see there's you know, Michael's oven and Brian's oven. So we can do two different things, two different, time, uh, uh, two different temperatures at the same time. It makes it really easy. Or you can remove this uh, smart divider out and you got a really large capacity oven. Yeah. Wow, that is really smart. So Brian, what will you be cooking on your half? Um, so actually I did a squash tart. Uh, it's you know, ricotta cheese, squash, zucchini, and uh, Michael did a uh, pine nut and pineapple tart as well. But the cool, like, the cool part about it is Brian actually baked his at 400 degrees and I baked mm -hmm. mine at, at 325. So, and this was at the same time. So imagine, and it's dessert and savory in the same oven at the same time. Yeah, so the aromas don't transfer, because actually that smart divider keeps that from happening. Well, now the possibilities are endless of what we can possibly cook in there. Well, I mean, one of the things that people in a recent survey, like this time of year, is, is that stress of how do you get all the food to the table at the same time? How do you get these holiday meals prepared? And what we found is that by having like two separate temperature zones or having two separate areas of cooking, you can actually get more dishes in the oven and in and out of the oven at the same time. It makes yeah. it a little bit easier. We've also been working on uh, Volt Inc., which has just released our new cookbook. And you can actually, you know, we've, I don't know that everybody's been cooking holiday recipes out of our cookbook, but there's definitely some tricks and things like that in there as well. No, I mean, I think, you know, it'd make it a lot easier if, you know, they wanted to try one of your recipes, you know, it's a baked item and try one of mine's, maybe a roasted or broiled item, you know, out of the book. It'd make it a lot easier to do that. Hopefully they, they cook mine first, but. Yeah, we also put some additional uh, recipes and, and tips on Samsung Home Appliances Facebook page, so you can check that out too as well. And you don't have to share, like, you don't have to share the oven with your brother anymore. You can have two separate yeah. areas to cook in at the same time, so. <laughs> Nice. How did the cookbook title come about? The names of our restaurants are actually Volt, which is short for Voltaggio, and Inc., which is kind of a play on Inc. I N K period, like Incorporated. So it's it's basically the names of our restaurants, and we didn't do it on purpose, but naturally the the words just came together. So it became it became Volt Inc. by by accident, I guess. I'm just curious, who gets credit for making you guys cooks? Your mom or your dad? You credit no, it's me a, usually, don't you? Right? Yeah, credit you. <laughs> no, um, you know, actually, our mom made sure that we sat down at the table every night, you know, 5.30. I mean, we're both into sports and stuff, so we're already pretty active ch children. So, you know, for our mom to make sure we sat down every day around food and had dinner, I think that was sort of inspiration to carry it through. And then this, this, you know, this time of year, obviously, you know, this is when families are actually getting together and cooking. And for us, we found that that's one thing that's missing today is, like, people aren't sitting down at the dinner table anymore. It's just a place to, like, throw whatever junk or meal you have in your hands and... We found that you know things like this and this this project we've been working on with Samsung, it allows everybody to get in the kitchen and cook together. All right, Voltaggio brothers, I am going to ask you to challenge our viewers. Each one of you pick a recipe in your book for us to do for the holidays. Uh, for Thanksgiving, for me, there's a uh, there's a casserole of cream spinach that's finished with a pumpernickel crust over the top. I think it'd be a really great. Your coffee uh, cake for breakfast. Yeah, too. coffee cake too. And then I've, uh, I've actually got seaweed mashed potatoes in there. So if you're bored of just mashed potatoes, I've got a seaweed butter that you can actually fold into your mashed potatoes. And it's, it's, it's a great alternative to just mashed potatoes. That certainly sounds delicious. Thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. you, Mike. Take care. You too. Well, now that we've got our flex on, it's important that we become the envy of the neighborhood when it comes to making s'mores. One ingredient we've been leaving out that is a necessary item for deliciousness, we'll find out next. Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? We are. And that's why we're creating a movement. By keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement.